GPT-4 has just been released inside of ChatGPT. So I want to take a look at how it's going to affect us as content creators and content creators as affiliate marketers, creating content to help people solve their problems as well as things that we can do in our business to help us with the tools that we need to effectively get that message out to our audience. First things first, inside of ChatGPT, I just wanted to sort of figure out if ChatGPT was aware of GPT-4 and what the differences are. So I simply ask it, how do you differ from GPT-3.5? Which if you have ChatGPT+, currently the three models available to you are the default GPT-3.5 as well as the legacy. And you can see the differences here in GPT-4, the difference in the reasoning, the speed, and the consciousness. So at any time, you can select the one that you want to interface with. In this case, you can see that I was interfacing with GPT-4, and I ask it, or when I ask it, how do you differ from GPT-3.5? It gave me some information here that said it was not even aware, or the fact that it's based on GPT-3, and it wasn't even aware of GPT-0.35, meaning it's not aware of GPT-4. So why not go ahead and just ask it? Are you aware that you are GPT-4? I apologize for any confusion in my previous response. As an AI language model, I don't possess, possess self-awareness self -awareness or consciousness. However, I am here to provide you with accurate and relevant, relative information. If I am indeed GPT-4, I would be an updated version of GPT-3 developed by OpenAI. It's going to give us the same information here about if it is a newer model, it will have more information and possibly be more up to date on the information that it is aware of and be better at what it is it does. So enough of that, we'll go ahead and we will jump into actually using ChatGPT as a content creator or as a marketer, as an affiliate marketer in this case, acting as a direct response marketing email expert. I need you to write an email about a special offer using the coupon code 20 off. What information do you need from me to do this task? You can go ahead and pause and read the information here, but basically it asks a few questions, the nature of the offer, the discount amount, the duration of the offer, the target audience, as well as the branding. With this information, ChatGPT says it can craft a persuasive email that highlights the benefits of the offer and encourages the recipients of the email to take action by using the coupon code. So how does the model GPT-4 differ using the exact same prompt? You can see here, it is going to give you a little different or more detailed information. Now understand that even inside of ChatGPT, the version 3.5, every time you ask it or give it a different prompt, give it input, the variations that you get on the output are always a little different. But this does seem to be a little more detailed and have a, a little bit different offering as far as the output based upon the exact input that we gave 3.5. Of course, you can see here, this is GPT-4. Now let's move into an actual use case if we wanted to create or use this to create something that we could use. For example, a squeeze page. We'll go over to ClickBank, the affiliate marketplace, and we'll just scroll down and grab an offer here. Wealth manifestation offer taking the market by storm. Of course, I don't recommend this product. I'm not endorsing that you promote this product. I'm just using it because they have an affiliate page. And on that affiliate page, they have email swipes to a direct gift page. And that email swipe is over or in the form of a Google Doc. And we can simply use this subject and the email to feed that information to ChatGPT. And inside of ChatGPT, using the default GPT 3.5, I simply fed it the information or I gave it the input of that swipe email and I asked it, create the website code for a squeeze page for an offer based on the following swipe email, giving away this free report. And then I simply just paste it in the email. You can see it gave me the information, gave it to me in a little of a bit or a little bit of a weird or disjointed format. So I simply ask, and again, remember this is GPT 3.5, please provide in one code box so I can copy and paste the website code and then it actually gave me the code inside of one box and I was simply able to copy that code and put it into a text file and then you can see here inside of the web browser this is a Safari I'm on a Mac you can see now that it created that squeeze page based upon the code that I was able to copy right there and put into a text file save that as an HTML file and then simply open that 
in Safari and you can see the ChatGPT, even ChatGPT 3.5 is able to create me a squeeze page, the code that I need and give me a tool as an affiliate marketer to put up a squeeze page to collect an email address. Of course, you would need an email autoresponder and all that. ChatGPT is not going to do that for you. And of course, you would need web hosting as well. But to move on, let's compare that to GPT-4, giving it the same information, the same prompt with the exact same copy and paste of the swipe email. You can see here that it gave me the information, but it didn't put it in a format or a code box or format it in a code box, but it did give me all the information that I would need. But then I actually ask it, please provide in one code box so I can copy and paste the website. You can see that chat GPT-4 didn't actually give me the code box. Again, this is the early stages of it, so it may not be aware or it may not have that functionality yet, but it seems odd that it doesn't because it is supposed to be an enhancement. But again, that is the beauty of playing with this inside of ChatGPT Plus and being able to select the different model or select between 3.5 and 4 and seeing what it gives us. Now, I was able to just highlight and copy all this code Take note that this did give it in two different sections, so I had to copy the CSS code. And you may not be aware of all this, but basically all that means is I had to take the CSS code and create a .css file or a style sheet and then link that, or then that is linked inside of the HTML code that it provided me. And those instructions were given to me here inside of ChatGPT, add the following CSS code in a separated or in a separate file name styles.css. But you can see I did that here and then I simply opened that up in Safari. And then this is the page that it built for me or the squeeze page that it built for me. In this case, it basically gave me a different headline, a subheadline, and then gave me the information inside of that swipe email. And then this button here just linked to the DNA free report offer. It wasn't actually a squeeze page in the sense of it collected an email address. So there are a little bit of differences there, but let's take a look at another example real quick where it can actually take that swipe email and rewrite it and look at this one live so you can see how fast 3.5 is compared to four. Currently right now, again, March 15th, 2023, as they have just released GPT-4 and they have put certain limits on it as far as the outputs and are the inputs that you can put in and the output that it puts out to basically keep up with what they know is going to be the amount of requests that they're going to get just because they've released GPT-4 right now and everyone wants to play with it. So again, we're going to open up a new chat here in chat GPT plus. And again, we're going to go with the default 3.5 and we're going to feed it this information from inside of this swipe email right here. And I'm not going to set the context or anything. I'm just going to give it a simple command. And inside of 3.5, I'm simply going to tell it, rewrite the following email, giving away this free report. I'm going to press go, and you're going to see that it's going to create a subject line, unlock your wealth, attracting potential with this free report. And then it's going to write out the email. You can pause here and read that email. Again, this is chat GPT using the default GPT 3.5. I'm going to open up a new chat. And again, I'm going to drop down and go with GPT 4. You can see down here that it is, or it has a capacity or a cap of hundred messages every four hours. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that exact same prompt. You can see here, this is a little slower in the output, even in the ability to actually output on the screen. It is taking more time, but you can see that it is writing a little bit of a different email. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, let this finish. And then that way you can pause the video and you can read what chat GPT wrote using GPT four versus 3.5. So here is the finished product inside of chat GPT, GPT four, go ahead, pause and read that. My opinion is that it is doing a better job or it's writing something that looks more like what a human would write, human output based upon just the formatting and the breaking up of the text. And you can see here that it added the three periods, the little ellipses there to sort of break it up and say, or call attention to that paragraph or that sentence versus here inside of GPT 3.5, it is using a default or just that sort of paragraph two to three sentences, paragraph two to three sentences, paragraph two to three sentences. So this was just a quick first look at chat GPT, chat GPT plus 
currently having GPT-4 as well as 3.5 available for you to test and play to create or assist you in creating content as an affiliate marketer, taking a look at the way we can sort of look at it as the future of it being able to create things for us on the fly, maybe even get rid of some of those tools that we pay for or learning skills that we absolutely just don't need to know because this thing can do it for us. Let me know what you think in the comments. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later.